Once upon a time, there was a man named Hector. Once considered the pinnacle of strength within the Order of Heroes, his standings dropped dramatically when the Lord of the Homeless, Homeless Tiki, showed up with her chubby 180 pounds of pure BST. Losing favor with the summoner due to his inferior BST, the once proud Hector fell to the wayside and became an alcoholic drinking his troubles away at a local bar. One day, however, he overheard a rumor of his former classmate at Badass Academy, Pissarro. Pissarro has learned the secret of evolution, and with the help of Pissarro, Hector grew into a horrendous winged beast known as Nesala. Gaining the superstitious ability to spread bad luck and freed from the bounds of his one-movement armor, the evil flying Hector prepares to take revenge on the world, starting with Roy, who has been trying to get in his daughter's pants. His daughter Lilina, however, having learned that his father became an evil spirit, called for professional help in the form of a shrine maiden, Dr. Shakura, to help cleanse his father of his brain damage. The battle for Roy's life is about to begin. Brain damage story aside, what is up everyone, and welcome back to another fun and exciting last minute Grand Hero Battle Clears, this time featuring our pal Nesala, also known as Flying Hector. Today, we'll be introducing some war crimes that's been basically personifying my Aether Raid's defense experience so far. But enough talk, it's time for Dr. Sakura to cure some brain damage. I will tell my enemies. Humans consider my black wings ominous, I am told. Far be it from me to challenge your preconceptions. I will be your doom. As you've seen, Hector has abandoned his humanity. He has forsaken his humanity and has now became an evil spirit. It is now time for the ultimate Shrine Maiden, Dr. Sakura, to cleanse him of this evil. Alright, so this is the situation. The evil Flying Hector is en route to murder Roy, but Dr. Sakura was able to intercept him as he flies over the North Pole. Dr. Sakura has deployed three secret techniques. We will introduce them as we go. Meanwhile, Flying Hector has an impressive army. Featuring a combined arms of land and air, he is a formidable opponent and would have easily met his goals of murdering Roy if he has not encountered Dr. Sakura today. Now, the first secret technique! I play my field magic card, Inferno Infusion. By channeling the power of the Hell Empress Erika, this continuous field spell amplifies Dr. Sakura's power dramatically at the start of each turn. But not over yet! Now I will play my second secret technique! Dark Die. Imperial Onslaught, face down! Judging the opponent to be beast-type enemies, the evil Dr. Sakura kidnapped her own brother cloned him in a cloning vat, and then injected him with 313 Archer DNA. Poor Takumi underwent a horrifying transformation and has now become the instrument of hate and destruction, as foretold in verses 313 of the Fire Emblem Bible. Unlike the generous Ryoma and his 25 turns, your motherfucking life ends three times from now! And that's it, I have my turn. The enemy appears to be a non-moving type. Seems like they're trying to see what Dr. Sakura is up to. So we will launch the first attack. To winter. Let's go! Let's go! Huh. <sighs> Blue Manicate enjoys some pain plus from Dr. Sakura. And now I end my turn. Give me advantage, Sword Cavalier versus Dr. Sakura. Huh? Huh? She got hit and then, huh? Blue 
Malachi. <sighs> huh? That's it? Come on, more pain for you. Huh? Huh? Green Flyer was unable to do any damage to Gakusha. The enemy had finished their advances. And now, you've activated my trap card! Dark Imperial Onslaught, Phantom Assault! The evil 313 infested Takumis line up their shots and unleash an unholy barrage, laying waste to Flying Hector's army. And now, I wrap this up with the final secret technique! Crescent Pain Plus Sight! The evil Dr. Sakura <sighs> bears the Pain Plus Sight and sweeps the entire battlefield with never-ending pain! Secret Technique! Crescent Pain Plus Sight! Red Fafnir attempts to destroy the rampaging <sighs> Dr. Sakura, but Dr. Sakura Inflicts pain on Red Fafnir, and Fafnir can't do anything. Fafnir retreats. Maximum Crescent Pain Plus Sight! Who's next? Huh? Crescent Pain Plus Sight! Who's next? Crescent Pain Plus Sight! <laughs> <laughs> now it's over! Hit or miss, guess it's all Let's me, go. huh? <laughs> Dr. Sakura versus Flying Hector! And an ever sounding horrifying sound of, huh? Brought down Flying Hector, pretty much ending this battle. And now there's only one thing left to do. This red Fafnir, the lone survivor, shivers in a corner. And now, we will finish this once and for all. Crescent Pain Plus Sight! And so red Fafnir goes down and Flying Hector's entire army has been destroyed by the evil Dr. Sakura. Bear witnessing to his entire army's destruction, Flying Hector got on his knees and introduced himself as Naysala, King of Kilvas, and he will lend Talon as long as he's properly compensated. Also known as, I'm going to surrender, but I'm going to be such a soon daddy, I'm not actually going to admit defeat. But that's okay, we don't care, we're Dr. Chakra, maximum brain damage. Now, Flying Hector's rampage has ended, but his story has not. We shall soon see him perform his best at some point. We shall see what he will do as he joins the Do My Best army. I thank you all for watching. Until next time. And so, the evil Flying Hector was finally defeated. Now serving Dr. Sakura and the Dark Emperor, Flying Hector has become entirely too busy to deal with the affairs of his daughter Lena any longer. And so, Roy is safe once again to frolic around Lena all he likes. However, a new threat now looms in the horizon. The evil Cecilia decided to lay her evil hands on her young student Roy. Unable to compare to the mature Cecilia's womanly charm, Lelina was in deep trouble. In desperation, Lelina decided to give Dr. Sakura another call. Using all of Ostia's remaining fortunes for medical fees, Lelina hopes to forcefully remove her rival teacher and cure her of her brain damage. Will Roy finally be freed from all this nonsense? And what will become of Cecilia? Find out on the next exciting episode of Fire Emblem Z!